Welcome to the My Business Podcast, where we sit down with local businesses and we talk about who they are, where they come from, and what inspires them to be in business. Welcome to the My Business Podcast. Today, I have a really special guest. His name is Kevin Jensen from Jensen IP Analysis. How, how are you, Kevin? Good, thank you. Kevin, I've been looking forward to this one for a few days since I've um, been doing my weekly planning. Um, this is something completely different. Explain to us what Jensen IP Analysis does. Well, in a nutshell, we fix um, telecommunication bills, particularly Telstra accounts. So when you say fix them, you are looking for errors that may yeah, be on these we bills? we look for errors and mistakes and do audits and reconciliations and we find that um, 99% of the Telstra accounts have errors or, or, or charges that need fixing up or sorting out. 99%. Yeah. I saw that on your website. I was absolutely blown away. Yeah. Now, from someone, just remember that I have a, I have a mobile phone account. Yeah, it costs yeah. me $85 a month, and yeah. that's you know pretty yeah, standard for yeah. me. So that's my experience with telecommunication bills. What kind of bills are you actually looking at? What's the size of these things? Um, I work with clients that spend more than $5,000 a month, um, but generally around thirty dollars or $40,000, $50,000 a month on services. All through Telstra? Yeah. No yeah, wonder, so the no wonder they get paid and mobiles a and, and various services, yeah, yeah. That's amazing. So somebody comes to you, now they come to you and because they're a bit confused about what's on their bill? Yeah, yeah. So generally. a big company has, you know, uh, they get their phone bill. I get my phone bill, it's four pages and that's yeah. one phone. Yeah. Um, what What's a bill look like for someone uh, that's spending $30,000 uh, a month? Uh, probably an average of five, 600 pages. I've got a client with 2,000 pages, just depends on size and spend and so no wonder they get um, things happen that get missed. Yeah, yeah, it's just it's just a massive. It's all one bill nowadays. So it's voice, mobile, data, and things are happening all the time, and changes are being made across the scenes. And they just um, the billing systems are very complex, and um, and it's very difficult to read and understand the jargon and all that's going on, basically. So Kevin, obviously this is your business, Jensen. IP analysis, I, IP yeah. analysis, and you're Kevin Jensen. So you started this business how long ago? Uh, about four years ago. Yep. Yeah, just just prior to COVID. And why? Um, because I, I used to fix bills in Telstra for thirty two years. Yep. I was a billing guru for um, most of the sort of mid size businesses around Australia. So from just under the size of Woolies to you know sort of medium sized businesses are spending about fifty, sixty thousand dollars a year. Um so I looked after all of those sort of businesses and I was a sort of backup. They moved everything offshore and we had a specialist team here in Brisbane actually. There's yep. five of us that used to just fix and support the, the bigger clients because they needed that support. Um everything's offshore, emails, voice, you know, you, you call centers are offshore. Um and people find it very difficult to get traction and understand what's going on and the offshore teams don't have a lot of experience and knowledge across the whole of Telstra. So it's really hard to sort of um, put together a complex um, data project, for instance, can go to say 10 or 12 different teams with different systems and different yep. processes and it's very complicated. It can take months to be fixed up and finalised and, and all that time the bills go up and down like, a yeah, yeah, it's just a real nightmare. So th over 30 years looking after... Errors on bills for Telstra. Yeah. So then you decided you were going to go out and help people. Well, when they made us redundant, there was no support for these businesses. Yep. There was nothing there. So you filled the gap. I filled the gap. Now, th forgive me for suggesting this, but 30, 30 plus years looking for mistakes in bills or yeah. helping people with bills. Yeah. Geez, you must be a patient man. <laughs> oh, no, it's, it's fun. It's a great exercise. I, I love it. I, I guess at it. the end of the day, the customers were happy with what oh, they look, did. Oh, look, look, we, we, we just, we just um, service the customers. That's, I love it. I just, we just find things that need fixing and get it done and sort it out. And so you start Jensen IP analysis. Yep. Um, which really, to me, sounds like you've just started doing the same job. More or less. For More your, less. You know, as your own business because yep. Telstra drove it that way. Yep. Um, so 99%. So... That suggests to me that you have found bills that didn't have errors. Very few. Or, or are we just being cautious yeah, yeah, with no, that? No, no, look, look um, there are a few that, that don't. 
Yep. But but most companies, there is something that needs adjusting and fixing up or sorting out. Um, the most common things basically would be missed discounts on the accounts um, and the other one is NBN conversion. A lot of customers have got NBN conversions. They've converted, they've got new services, but they're paying for the old data and products as well. And um, and the contracts, when they change contracts, it gets very... Gets messy. Messy, yeah. So do you just look after Telstra or do you look after all telcos? <sighs> I can look after other telcos, but primarily Telstra. Yeah. Yes, that's where the experience, the experience lies, experience isn't it? Lies, yeah. Um, What's the, oh, without naming names and for customers oh. and all that, but what's the biggest kind of amount that you've been able to save a customer? Um, I'm working with a client now that saved over five hundred thousand over two years. That's five hundred thousand Australian dollars. Yep. Wow. Num- numerous errors. So there were um, backdated cancellations. There was missed discounts. There was uh, claims like they have a uh, a loyalty discount fund which they can claim money on, which they hadn't claimed money on. There's um, mistakes made by Telstra itself. I've got one now for eighty thousand dollars just on one product. That's incredible. And the and the customers come to you obviously because they need a bit of guidance or um, yeah, and they get frustrated with Telstra. They have not get, don't get proper answers. They don't understand what's going on. They want to know exactly why their bill doesn't match the contract. Um, they've got a whole heap of services they're going to either change or upgrade or do something with, and they're not sure that the billing is matching what's actually in the networks, which is often the case. Um, another example is I've got a client with 180 services on their bill. We rank a few of those services and found they were disconnected. And we found that probably more than 100 of the 180 are disconnected. So we're paying for them still? Yep. At $80 per service per month. Wow. So that's... 8000 bucks a month. More than $8,000 a month by maybe 24 months since they should have been disconnected or whatever it might be. It could be maybe 120 grand, 130 grand of, of errors. I'm, I'm, as I said, as I said at the start, I'm flabbergasted that this is even something that happens. But it's great to know that businesses have somewhere that they can go. Yeah. Do you? How do you get your customers? Is it referrals from other customers or? Um, two predominant methods. I've got a few off the internet straight yep. from Google, and the other one is referrals. So I have a couple of referral partners. One on the Gold Coast and one in North Queensland, and I'm trying to work other partnerships as well. So telco dealers are pretty good. Yep. If they if they get the picture, like they sell the products and services, but if they they don't service billing, none, no one that no. I know of services billing at all. No. And if they, like, I've got a deal up in North Queensland who gets the picture. So when they've got a Telstra client, the first thing they do is they say, let's have it to me, let me have a look. Let's have a review. And, and I do my thing, they do their thing, and if I come out with a refund, they're happy, and, and they've given me probably a dozen clients, and I'd say ninety percent of those clients have got refunds. In That's addition to what the company is already providing them, as far as new technology, new services, and whatever else, they've got money back in their pocket that they wouldn't normally have. So you're partnering with the dealers to provide these people with a complete yeah. telecommunications yeah. review. Exactly. So you do your stuff, they do their stuff, and if they get if they get more money in their pocket, that means they can spend more with the dealer or other things. But also, it's the relationship building, isn't it? Oh yeah. So, yeah. I mean, I can only imagine that um, somebody that's come to you today, for instance, will come back and see you again in 18 oh, months' time or something like have. that. Already yeah. have, yeah. Oh, yeah, I've got a client that I got like $25,000 for the first up and then 12 months later, another issue comes up, another $25,000. Did Telstra hate you? Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> but I guess, too, from Not Telstra's yet. point of view, that they would actually probably appreciate it as well because oh. they'll keep the customer, though, won't they? We're talking about yeah, big customers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They want they look. Most big customers want to stick with Telstra. That's the network. Well, at the end of the, the day, network the network and the engineering and the support and and whatever they don't. You know, they're it's not like if you're doing a business podcast, you'd stick with my business because yeah. they're the best at it. Yeah, um, Telstra are the yeah, biggest. The network and, and engineering is great. Yep. Yeah, the billing's atrocious. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that? Uh, it's it's a it's a liability. They see it as a liability. Yep. They, they don't focus on it because it's not important. They the important the thing is people want their data yep. and they want their service and they want it reliable and they want it on. That's what most people focus on. Yep. Billing is sort of secondary output and, and they don't really care too much. You know, they f- might, I might, you know, give them a $100,000 credit, but it's a drop in the bucket to what they get. Yep. And what they miss, well, 
nobody knows. Well, that's right. So, you know, what I, what I do is a drop in the bucket compared to the thousands of bills that are out there. Yeah, hopefully we'll get a few more people coming to talk to you after this podcast. Oh, I hope so too. That, um, <laughs> we, can, we can save a few more dollars. Yeah. So we talked about before you said that it's about $5,000 a month. That's, the peop- that's what you look at customers that are spending that. Yeah, yeah. Just explain to the average person what kind of business – is that like how many staff would a business like um, that have? Okay, so I've worked with a car dealership um, that has about twelve outlets. Yep. Um, a small council up in North Queensland. I've worked with a, a law firm, sp- small law firm. Yep. Um, an engineering firm. I've worked with national companies. I've got a couple of um, a tire company that's national with 80, 80 stores around Australia. Um, I've worked with another big company now that's got um, probably about 30 or 40 different offices around the country, um, well-known brands, yep. well, well-known. The big, reason big, I ask that brands, is that yeah. I want people to be listening to this and say, heck, my brother-in-law runs a business like that or something like that. And yeah. they can just bring this up because um, Adam, who's the guy that introduced us to do this podcast yeah. today, he said to me, he told me about it at the start. He said, Rob, you will not believe this. 99%. That was the thing that, yeah, <laughs> he'll find an error on on every bill and save people money. Yeah. And I don't think that that's something that um, is easy to come to terms with for the average person. No, no. It's just little things that you overlook. I had a company that, um, that had a bill and it was a $6 product. Now, $6 is not much in a $1,000 bill. No. But the problem was they had 120 of those items on the on the account. So there was almost a $1,000 a month yep. on this one product, which basically exited the market years ago <laughs> and it's still on the accounts. Yep. So, you know, if you multiply that by the number of months they could have had taken it off and nev- not bother- bothered with it, it would have That's saved right. themselves like 40 or 50 grand. Yeah, and, it, and it's one of those typical things where it adds up quickly. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. What makes what makes Kevin each day get up and say, oh, I can't wait for today? <laughs> oh, I just I just enjoy the challenge, challenge of trying to work out things for my clients, trying to get things done through Telstra. It's it's a nightmare trying to work with Telstra. It and really is. Yeah. And um, at the end of the day, what satisfaction? Look oh, like? when I get the credits back, you know, it takes about six months to, to actually finalise an account. Usually, get the credits back, get everything finalised, because I've actually got to train everybody overseas to do what I used to do because yep. they don't know. So I have to actually tell them step by step, here you go, this is what you do, this is what you look for, this is how come, this is why, and and just step by step through the whole process and eventually we get the outcome. Now those people don't like you, I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> you ring them and tell them what they should be doing. But it, it's true though in so many businesses that we, you know, and it's a little bit off topic here, but we let so much experience go out of our companies here in Australia yeah. and then we, all of a sudden we say, heck, the people that we have left don't know what to do. Yeah. yeah. Um, and But you've been able to enter that niche market afterwards and say, yeah. okay, well, I'm going to supply it, but I'm going to cut you out of this. Yeah. Look, I, I do I do the preparation. I can't actually fix anything, but I do the preparation and get everything in, in line and help the customer and the client get through that whole process until it gets done. You're like the solicitor who prepares for trial. Yeah. Takes it to trial. I mean, you can't do yeah. Yeah. everything, but Not you've just got to make the preparations and get the right things. Yeah, right things yeah. going. Um, how many businesses do you look after? Oh, I've got about nine or ten at the moment. Yep. Yeah. At one go, trying to yeah. sort those out yeah. all the time. Yeah. So some of them, some of them are quite small. I mean, we're going to double that for you. Yeah. We're going <laughs> to bring some people in for that. Um, the perfect customer. They've obviously come to you via a dealer or via the website. Right. What is your website, by the way? We're going to say um, this a few times. JensenIPA.com. JensenIPA.com. That's J-E-N-S-E-N. S-E-N. IPA.com.au, sorry. Dot com dot au. Yeah. So um, I went and had a look, and obviously the, the thing about the website that I liked was there were some testimonials there, which were yeah. great. Obviously, um, people are happy with the service you provide. Um, so your customers... Do you have meetings with them via you know, Teams or Zoom? Oh, or yeah. How do you, how yeah. Do you They're all based interstate and other places yep. around the country, so it's all via Teams and Zoom and emails. And then they just send stuff. you them, send you their 2,000 pages? Yeah, just PDF copies of bills, and then there's Telstra systems and processes in the background that I can get access to. Yep. So they give me the access to their systems. I can use those to, to produce reports and information. 
That's amazing. It really is just absolutely amazing. Um, so for businesses, so I, I'm sitting here and, of course, you know, I run a big business and um, I'm listening to this and I say to myself, I um, probably should do something. Yeah. I'm, I'm guessing your answer is that you should have done it yesterday. <laughs> well, true. But, look, we just get started. We yep. start where we start and we, we see what comes out of it. We just don't know. Is there anyth- ever anything to lose by coming to see you? No, nothing. I mean, I'll do a, I'll do a free um, analysis just um, with a client just to have a look at what they've got, how much they're spending, and if it's uh, if it's small or if I see nothing, you know, untoward, I think, well, there might not be much here. I'll just say, look, this is where it's at. I can't really see any real problems. Do you have any issues? Do you have any troubles? Have you got anything coming up? You're making major changes. What's going on? And then out of that, we work out whether it's worthwhile continuing or not. Sometimes I go got clients who just say, look, we want an audit of our services because we, we're going to be making some changes and we're not sure that it's right. Yep. You know? Makes sense. Oh. Makes sense. I mean, why, why would you go with a $20,000 bill to a telco dealer who's going to sell you an $18,000 bill, but your bill should only be sixteen or 17000 <laughs> I love a good analogy, right? People, like a business, will buy a car for $40,000 and they'll yeah. get that serviced every six yeah. months, but then they'll be paying $10,000 a month in telco bills and they just let it go and go and go without yeah. out ever reviewing yeah. it yeah oh and that's, that's I, had, I had a client who spent um who spent 900 dollars a month on an old data service a two megabyte data service two megabyte two megabytes Aye. now somehow or other it was still working okay i don't know how that that <laughs> came out but anyway he was spending 900 dollars a month he could have had a product for 500 dollars a month that gave him 500 megabytes <laughs> 600 megabytes so he never bothered changing his account never bothered doing yep. anything and all I said to him was go and change the product, and that was the only thing. And he d- I didn't need anything else. That's all he needed. Just one service. Fixed so up, his bill upgraded. was fine, but his, his service was. The bill was nineteen hundred dollars a month on this one product. Yep. But it could have been fifteen hundred dollars less by just or changing, just changing the, product. the product. Yeah. I'm always amazed at that as well. Yeah. yeah. It just happens. But you got to You've got to change and update every couple of years. If you're not doing that, you're losing money. You're throwing money out the window. The pricing changes consistently all the time. It's yep. just rapidly changing. And if you're not updating and changing your products and services and looking at your contracts every two years and upgrading, um, you're losing money. I feel a sound bite coming out of that one. Yeah. Because that, that's exactly what it is, isn't it? You've, yeah. got, you've got to just you've keep going. You've got to keep going, yeah. Um, I'm going to – nearly time's up. I, I remember I said to you at the start, time will fly because yeah, we'll exactly. just get in on a roll. <laughs> um, what's next for your business? What, what do you see happening in the future? Oh, I – I'm not looking to make huge waves in the, in the telco industry. I'm looking just to, to have consistent clients, to, to know where to go to. When clients come to me and just say, look, we need some help, and we just provide a service. And if it grows, it grows. But I'm not looking to make huge inroads. I just want to provide a service to those clients who are, who are willing to um, make the effort to change their thinking and look at, look at things differently. JensenIPA.com.au. That's J-E-N-S-E-N, IPA.com.au. Yep. If you're a, a phone dealer and you want to um, add this service in. Oh, absolutely. Come to you the Telco same way. Dealers, yeah, yeah. We'll partnership. Uh, you do your thing and I'll do mine and hey, it's all good. And I just implore anyone who's listening to this to, if you've got someone that you think runs a business that might be able to benefit, yep. um, there is absolutely no harm in um, having no. a quick look at this. And the other thing I want to partner with is accounting firms. You know, you've got to... A large accounting firm with clients spending millions of dollars on communication costs. Makes sense, yeah. Why not? I mean, what could it hurt? Okay, so who who are the people we're looking for? Um, accounting firms, larger accounting firms, and and, and telco dealers. telco dealers for partnerships. Yeah. That's awesome. Or direct clients, you know, CFOs, CEOs, or people in charge who, who just want to cut the costs and and know what they're paying for. That's outstanding. Kevin, our time is up. It's been absolutely brilliant having you in here. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I've really enjoyed it. I, I've learnt a lot, um, which I'm going to say, look, nothing against all the other ones I've done, but this is something brand new to me. So oh, I, it's, I it's really a unique service. I don't, I don't believe anyone else is doing this sort of thing around the country. They just, you know, a lot of people are selling things and doing all the rest of it, but they're not servicing the needs of the clients effectively. This is what I hope we can do and just provide that extra level of service. And in the process, we get most of our clients a refund, so it's cost neutral. I love it. Kevin, um, all the best with, with Jensen IP analysis. Yep. Um, I hope it goes really well, and I hope maybe one day we'll see you in here again. We'll do another podcast. Absolutely. Excellent. Sounds Thanks, great. Kevin. Thank you. Bye. Bye. 
Thanks for listening to the My Business Podcast, brought to you by Media 8 on the Podfire platform. If you want to be on our podcast, please reach out to the team on all our socials at mybusiness.pod.